Welcome back to the channel guys, it's the Eradicator and since Star Citizen of a 3.16 is out, it is now time to try the Jump Town event. There is a schedule available on robertspaceindustries.com, I put the link in the description down below, here's a little picture of that schedule. And so, well, yesterday, right after the release of the patch, I decided I'll give it a try and... Well, there are three different locations. There's a location on Calliope. There's also another drug lab on Yella. Obviously, it's the or is Jump Town. And there's also Paradise Cove on Lyria, which is where the action is going to be taking place in this video. Which is great because my starting location is Area 18 in 3.16, so I didn't need to travel that much. And so I try to go as quickly as possible to uh, my location. But first, before you do that, guys, you never know if jump town or the other locations are going to be safe so best to reset your spawn location your imprint location i should say at one of the rest stops so that you don't have to travel through the atmosphere and go through the hassle of traveling from your hab to the stop all i mean it's it's a waste of time right so if you are already in space you don't need to do that and so once i did that i went all the way to paradise cove there is no direct marker so you're gonna have to go to an orbital marker and then fly manually i was trying to press b to stop the quantum drive a little bit earlier but ah, after multiple attempts i decided to fly straight from the orbital marker to paradise cove and i was really surprised that there was no one as i arrived i kept on scanning the location but couldn't find any other ships and then i realized that there were only 10 people in my server so i got really lucky i don't think that most people's experience is going to be like that but uh, i thought it would be a good idea to also try out uh peacefully i would say without being bothered by uh, by potential hostiles how the event is going to play out and so i went inside the facility found out those boxes we're actually spawning pretty quickly. They come up every 30 seconds. 30 seconds, I thought, oh, that's a long time. But by the time you pick up a box, put it outside and go back to pick up another box again, it's already there. So I think that actually 30 seconds is actually quite a reasonable and balanced timer for each of the boxes. Actually, At least if you're a solo player, then you're, be able, you're going to be able to pick up those boxes. And so I decided to give myself 10 minutes. I'm not going to be too greedy here. I would give myself about 10 minutes to gather as many boxes boxes as possible and uh, well it turns out that uh, nobody came and I ended up with 12 boxes of maize in my ship so well I could have gone a little bit longer obviously but I think that you never know right and uh, maybe it's a server here with 10 people but the server can get populated it's easy to get carried away uh, by the prospect of making a ton of money you know you want more okay i'm gonna take one more okay maybe one more and then you know a group or an orc comes and destroys you and takes everything that you've uh, worked for right so you gotta have to be uh, reasonable and i decided that uh, with 12 boxes i would go back to by jetty point the station above area 18 and then uh, take give away the boxes here that i have collected so where to do that you have to go to the admin that's where you have to go the admin is located at the galeria yeah, they are located at all of the galerias here either you are here or at uh Ev no, not ever uh, the one that's above uh i forgot oh, it's port wrestler yeah that's the one above my colleague or either here at badge point or port wrestler of my contact if you are going to port olisar it's just a regular admin at the central hub here and so uh you don't need to put any boxes inside the delivery box you just go to the trade terminal and uh, you just sell the boxes from there so you can see 12 boxes for 76 thousand alpha uec not bad at all considering that i just stayed there for 10 minutes so if i had stayed there for a little bit longer let's imagine i had collected 100 boxes which would have been feasible would have been really fun to see by the way uh i would have made you know 700 thousand alpha uec so yeah you have to do that in quantities i think that it would really work if orgs control the area over a certain period of time let's say an org controlled controls this for about an hour and they have some people really dedicated to staying in that room, collecting the boxes and putting them outside. And someone would guard the boxes outside until there's a certain amount of, of number of boxes that they would put inside a ship. I think that, that there could be a, a really nice payout here for a group of 
four people, four to five people, plus some escorts eventually. Uh, but as a solo player, if no one is around, that's also a viable position, I think, as well. But let me know in the comment section down below, guys. Have you tried the new drug events in Star Citizen Java 3.16? Have you tried it solo? Have you tried it with a group? Or maybe you are not interested. Um, maybe you're disappointed with the payout here. Let me know in the comment section down below. It's the last day for the giveaway this month. We've got an amazing giveaway, guys. Thanks to Dr. Forbin on my Discord channel. If you are a supporter via Patreon or the John Button membership, we've got an Anvil Laborer. But for you guys, the subscribers of this channel, we also have an $84 armor set and two Anvil Spartans with LTI. All you have to do is to uh, subscribe to the channel, make sure you're in public setting, and answer the question I just asked before. That's all for this quick video, guys. Tomorrow, it's going to be Christmas Day. Merry Christmas to everybody, by the way. I think that some of you guys are going to have their Christmas Eve dinner really soon. So wish you all a wonderful time with your family. Tomorrow, we are going to make three people happy here in the channel. We're going to make also one person very happy in Discord as well. So don't miss out that video too. This is The Eradicator. Have a great day. I'll see you guys later. A huge shout out to everyone who's been helping me out on Patreon and via the YouTube Joint Membership Program. Creating content on YouTube involves continuous circles of ups and downs, and it is when we are the lower parts of the curve that your help really motivates me to keep on going. Your contribution really does make a difference, which is why in return I try to give back by offering backers access to my private Discord channel, automatic access to exclusive giveaways, or answering your questions during the show. You can help me out with as little as a dollar a month, and any help is greatly appreciated. Thank you very much for watching again. This is the Eradicator. I'll see you guys later.